Hi everyone, I hope you are fine. In today's video, we will discuss what is the main difference between the traditional CAD and the new technology which is BIM. So there is a lot of confusion, you know, with lot of candidates including architects, interior designers, civil engineers, mechanical and electrical engineers including all the company owners, contractors and we can call as lot of people who are having confusion in between or we can say confusion with BIM. So how we used to do the construction, what was the procedure and how we are doing or how we are trying to do now and how it can be in future. So that we'll discuss later but let's understand how we were doing and how we are trying to do it. So the mainly previously we used to work on CAD methods. So when computers came, so we started using computer. So then the technology which came is nothing but CAD. So mostly we get confused in between CAD and AutoCAD. So CAD is a procedure and AutoCAD is a software for that. So, so like that, there are many softwares available in market. So in traditional, traditional process, if we see, we have CAD. CAD is nothing but what computer aided design. So we are using computers to do the design. Okay. So let's see how the workflow was there in CAD or many companies are there is still they are doing work with CAD methodology. Let's see how an architecture firm can or doing the work with CAD. So if we see generally first an architect will prepare the conceptual drawings using any 2D software. Okay, so first they will use 2D software and the architect will create the 2D plans. So first they will create the 2D plans and then they will, you know, present that one in such a way that client should be happy with the plans. Okay, then once the plans are, you know, decided, then those plans will be transferred to any 3D visualizer. So that 3D visualizer will create 3D model without any information. Okay and they will use that 3D model for exterior and interior renderings. Okay, so once these renderings are ready, again these, you know, things will be presented to the client. So once client likes, if maybe there can be many changes, many revisions, and we will do a lot of these, you know, revisions in 3D model. And then again, we do the renderings. Okay, so then once these <coughs> renderings are finalized, these renderings, According to these renderings, we will change the plans again. If you see now, so we are having drawings in one format. Okay, we are having renderings in other format. In the same way, we can have the quantity extraction in Excel format. So now we have three different softwares, 2D, 3D and again Excel. So if we do change in any of these softwares, we need to update in all. And especially if you see, in 2D drawings also, we'll be having different types of drawings. We'll be having, you know, floor plans, we'll be having ceiling plans, we will be having elevations, sections, typical details, lot of things. So if any changes happen in one drawing, we need to update in all the other drawing that becomes a manual process. So along with that, we need to update in other drawings also. We can say other discipline drawings such as structure and MEP. So that will become a hectic process. So again, these de details, if we don't update in, you know, render and Excel. Okay. So we are missing this information because of this missing information, we will be having a lot of problems in the design finalization and the construction site. So there becomes a problem for the project. Okay. So this is nothing but a traditional, you know, process of working. So what is the concept behind BIM? Okay. So BIM, it's not about the software. It's about, you know, a methodology, a mindset where instead of keeping information into these different, you know, file formats, we are keeping all of this information into just one file, which is called as BIM, BIM model file, or we can say BIM file. So which is nothing but building information modeling. Okay. So here, whatever the software you take. Okay. So all the BIM softwares or we can say all BIM authoring softwares will be having information into one software okay so in that one software we are doing the modeling that is 3d in that one software we are creating the drawings in that one software we have the 
quantity and estimation so that is nothing but BIM mindset now whatever the software you take the BIM mindset is what we create all of this information into just one file okay where whatever the BIM software you take if you change in one view that is for, for example floor plan that change can appear in ceiling plan that change can appear in quantities that change can appear in elevation section any other drawing so what happens the information will be you know automatically corrected but you need to also take care of that it's nothing like a lot of confusion is there if you take any BIM software okay so those things will be done automatically no you need to you know have a lot of con concentration now you see we can avoid one more you know confusion here that in traditional part there are three people working okay so there is one architect working okay there is one 3d visualizer working and there is one quantity you know estimator working but here in BIM all these three works you know will be done by one maybe BIM engineer or BIM architect you see here so a lot of concentration is required and the time taken will be also good. okay so I hope you understood the difference between CAD and BIM. In future, we'll discuss more about it. Thank you.